digital romance TV. Hey folks, how's it going? It's Michael Fiore from DigitalRomance.tv and Nora. Nora. Wow, you're getting better at saying your name in these videos. Well, you only let me the first time last video. Oh, I did for the first time when yeah. you said who you were? Man, yeah. God, I, I'm awful. <laughs> Nora, let's talk about gold diggers. What do we got here? Uh, well, how to tell if she's a gold digger mm -hmm. or how to tell if she's just dating you for your money, which, which is, is really kind of the, the same, same thing. thing. Yeah. Um, the gold digger thing. In case you didn't know what a gold digger was. And by the way, this goes for women who are watching too. Men are gold diggers as well. Oh yeah, they can Especially be. Especially these days. Sure. You know, as women get more financial power sure, sure. In, our, in our society, there are guys who are just hanging out for the money. Does that per other person have a job of their own or no. income of their own? Yeah. Well, let's actually start with a really basic thing. Yeah. One thing I always pay attention to on a first date when I was dating uh, was oh. at the end of that of the meal, does the other person at least reach for their purse? Yes. Now I'm not saying they have to pay or anything like that, but for me, um, whether you're financially successful or not, being able to show that somebody is at least willing to pull their own weight is a really big deal. Yeah. And I would actually pay a lot of attention to that. I would see if somebody was like just sitting there with their hands crossed the entire time, right. waiting for me to pay for it, no matter how expensive the meal was, or if they would at least reach for it. Oftentimes I would still end up paying for the meal because why not at that point, but it's an important kind of indicator. Also, um, are they constantly trying to get you to pay for things or buy, buy more elaborate things than you would generally do in your own life? Right. Right? Now, me personally, I live a pretty frugal lifestyle in general. And if my fiance had been somebody who was constantly saying, let's go to this place, let's go to this expensive restaurant, let's do that, buy me this, buy me that, it's really pretty obvious they're only looking for money. Now, the main thing, if you want to avoid dating somebody who's a gold digger is, don't tell them that you make any money. Um, it's not really Don't not that hard. Don't live a right? lifestyle that attracts yeah. those people. Yes. We, we had somebody write in a while ago. Oh, uh, Hank. Hank. Hank, who was talking Hank. about how I deserve young, beautiful women oh, because Hank. I make a lot of money. He was, he's on the podcast if you want to go check it out. I yelled at him. <laughs> uh, so did I, actually. If you're driving a Maserati, if you're living in the $5,000 a month apartment, if you're always wearing you know, incredibly expensive clothes, that, to me at least, just shows that you only value yourself monetarily right. in a wide, wide sort of way. You're putting and out Hank there. actually put out there that he only valued women young because basic women. young, sexy, young attractive models, women actually. who he didn't Correct. really care what their, their internal mm -hmm. thoughts were, right. but he was always upset that they would then either cheat on him or leave him for somebody they else. Because they were only there for the money because right. he wasn't an interesting guy. Right. But anyway, um, the advice we gave to Hank was quite simply, uh, you're not allowed to talk about money for at least a month or two that you're dating somebody. Yeah. You're not allowed to pay for dinner that first right. night. You're not allowed to buy her anything at all until she's actually your girlfriend. Right. If you don't want a gold digger, you know, make sure that that's not the most important thing that people know about you when you right. put it out there. And refuse to play that game. Right? Just don't, don't fall into the trap of showering somebody with presents. Anybody who is only going to be around because of presents is not somebody you actually want. Okay. Right. Anything else to add to it? I think that's it. I think that's it too. Um, if you want to get more, please go subscribe to our newsletter and uh, learn more about us at uh, digitalromance.tv or you can subscribe for more videos here on YouTube. Thanks. Bye. You've been lied to by every man you've ever met. Go to digitalromance.tv forward slash secret to watch a special video where Michael Fiore teaches you why men lie to women they love and how to finally discover the astonishing truth about men.